Hello everyone, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to use Microsoft Excel in order to plot the graphs out of data tables, in order how to evaluate the slope, the y-intercept, and the equation of straight line graphs. You'll find it occasional. Now suppose we have this table of data. We already typed all the data into um, the spreadsheet. Notice that we have the um, diameter. On the first column, we have to type the values of the x-axis which is usually the independent variable. On the second column, we type the values of the dependent variable, which will be our y-axis, that is the vertical axis. Now, in order to plot the graph, we'll highlight the two columns, we'll click on insert, we'll select scatter, click on it, and we'll select the first graph. This selection will give us this graph. In order to drag it, we can click on it and drag it to any position here. We can also modify the size of the graph by clicking on one of the edges or on the border of the graph and adjust its size. We need to do some modification on this graph here for cosmetic reasons and also for the purpose of specifying the titles of the x-axis, the y-axis, as well as the title of the graph itself. We'll start first by deleting the legend. We'll click on it and press delete. We'll rename the title of the graph. The title of the graph should always start with the y-axis versus the x-axis. The y-axis is the circumference, so we'll start with the title of the y-axis, which is circumference, versus the title of the x-axis, which is diameter. And then we need to identify what the graph represents. Here is the circumference versus diameter of a circle. We can adjust the font as well if the font is large like here we can click on the text box select home and then in the home menu we can reduce the font from 18 let's say to 14 this will fit nicely within the graph block here now after we title the graph we need to title the x-axis and the y-axis to do that we have to click on the layout tab on the top then we have to select axis titles click on it then we'll change both the primary horizontal axis title and the primary vertical axis title Let's start with the primary horizontal axis title. We'll click on it and then we'll select title below axis. So a text box appeared below the x-axis. We are going to change the content of this text box to the title of the x-axis, which is diameter. And we need to include the units in parentheses. The unit here is meter. We'll do the same thing with the y-axis. We'll go to axis titles. We'll select primary vertical axis title. And here we'll select rotated title in order to have the title sideways. As you see here, the text box is sideways. We'll click and highlight the content of that text box and we'll title the y-axis circumference. And don't forget to include the units, which is meter. Now we have both axes titled and also we have the title of the graph. The next step is change the grid lines appearance. To do that, we have to click on the grid lines tab on the top. We are still in the layout menu. We'll click on the grid lines. We'll select primary horizontal grid lines. And we are going to select major and minor grid lines. Yeah. This, this will display the horizontal grid lines for both the major and the minor units. And then we'll do the same thing for the vertical axis. Now the graph is uh, complete in terms of uh, the points and the titles. The next step is to evaluate the slope and the intercept of the graph as well as the equation of the graph and also to fit the points in a nice straight line. To evaluate the slope, we'll go ahead and type slope, and then we'll click on the cell next to it. Then we'll select insert function. Beside category, we'll select statistical, and under select a function, we'll look for the slope. So we'll select slope, and click OK. The slope window will show up. We have to specify the Y values and the X values. To specify the Y values, we'll place the cursor beside known Ys, and then we'll select the values only of the Y axis, meaning the values of the circumference 
we will not select the title of the graph we will not select a blank cell make sure to select the values only the numerical values only that represent the y-axis we'll do the same thing with the x-axis we'll click beside the x values here in the window we'll select the diameter values from 1 to 6 and then we'll click OK and this will evaluate the slope value which came out to be 3.14 as we expect it's the pi value rounded to two decimal places We'll do the same thing with the intercept. We'll type intercept equal and then we'll select the cell next to it in order to evaluate the intercept value. We'll click on insert function. Beside category, we'll select statistical. Under function, we'll select intercept and then we we'll click OK. Then we'll select the Y values and the X values the same way we did with the slope. We'll select the Y values, make sure not to select any text or blank cell. We'll select the X values, only the numerical values of the X, of the diameter. And we'll click OK, and uh, Y intercept value came out to be zero. If you want to center those numbers uh, and those text labels, we'll highlight the cells that we need to center, then we'll click we'll click at the home tab then select center and this will center those cells now in order to evaluate the equation of the graph and fit the points in a nice straight line we have to select the graph first so we'll click on the graph as soon as you click on the graph you'll see that menu on the top will change we'll select layout click on the layout tab and then on the right hand side you'll see the trend line icon we'll click on the trend line icon we'll select more trend line options and then we'll select linear which is the default selection and we'll check the box beside display equation on chart and then close and this will display the equation of the graph y equals slope times the x-axis we'll change the label of the y-axis to its actual title which will be circumference so we'll change the y to circumference and we'll change the x-axis to its actual title which is diameter and this will be the actual equation of the graph so now we have a straight line graph with the slope, the y-intercept, and the equation of the graph evaluated.